Hey guys, it is PXM Gaming here, back with another video in my, in my Call of Duty Mobile series. Today, as part of a special tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to get all of the best guns of Call of Duty Season 6. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss on any future uploads, and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so in Call of Duty Season 6, which is Wild West themed, one of the best guns you can obtain is the Cordite, a high-powered SMG. However, this gun cannot be bought, it can only be obtained from the COD Seasonal Challenge. It is called the Gunslinger, and it features one of Call of Duty's newest modes, the 1v1 Duel. It features multiple challenges in ascending difficulty, which focuses on two aspects of 1v1, kills and wins, and you, and you can complete them to get the Cordite. In this video, I will cover how to excel at 1v1, how to complete the challenges like a pro, and most importantly of all, is the core that worth getting. So, I went and completed the entire challenge, and now I will share what I learned doing that. One of Call of Duty's newest modes is the 1v1 duel, which came out on May 15th, 2020, to complement the new Wild West themed season. In it, you face one randomly selected player in a small map called Saloon. The object of the game is to kill your opponent as much as possible. Whoever reaches their killing objective first, 5, will score a point. The loser of the first round will get to choose the weapon category that everyone uses in the second round, and whoever has the most wins at the end of the game will win. There are many strategies that you can use to your advantage in order to give yourself a better chance of winning. First of all, stay in a corner, as it will prevent the enemy from sneaking up behind you. It is also advisable to place a trip mine at a point where the enemy could, in theory, sneak up behind you. Secondly, you should analyze the enemy's behavior. Like, does he go inside or is he or stay outdoors? Does he run a gun or is he a camper? Knowing your enemy's, enemy's behavior is crucial to your success. Also, a lot of people don't know this, but some walls in the saloon map can be shot through. You can use this to your advantage to throw a camper. Finally, there's a weapon choice. Ideally, the loadout you choose should reflect your behavior. Are you a camper? In that case, a light machine gun such as the S36 is your friend. If you're a runner and gunner like I am, you should ideally use a, a lightweight rifle or SMG such as the M4 or PDW. Both are pretty good guns. I recommend training on just one gun so you have more experience with it. As I mentioned earlier, you have to complete the Call of Duty Gunslinger challenges, which feature the new 1v1 dual map in order to obtain the coveted Cordite. Since this, is, since this is one of the best guns in the game, it is not that easy to complete the challenges. However, I do have some advice to how to complete them as, as efficiently as possible. The first challenge that you will see in the gun season, uh, season, gunslinger seasonal event is where you have to kill 30 enemies in a 1v1 duel. For this challenge, be constantly on the move, preferably with a lightweight gun such as the M4 and PDW, in order to maximize your kills. The second challenge is where you have to kill 15 enemies with a shotgun. For this challenge, ideally, you should use a high damaging weapon such as a BY-15, which will give you a two-shot heal. The third challenge is we have to, have to kill 15 enemies of a sniper. This is one of the hardest challenges, as the saloon map is generally in, in close quarters. But you can easily complete it if you keep your distance from the enemy, preferably with a gun such as the DLQ-33. For the fourth challenge, you have to win five matches in, two, one, in one. To maximize your wins, you should use a powerful assault rifle, such as the AK-47. For the fifth challenge, you have to kill 10 enemies with a pistol, which may seem daunting at first, but can be surprisingly easy if you use an MW-11 at close range for maximum damage. For the final challenge, for hardest of them all, the objective is to win 10 matches. For this challenge, in order to complete it as quickly as possible, you should throw everything you've got at the enemy. As it is essential to use a high-powered weapon, you should use an assault rifle like the M4, as it has good damage, fire rate, and mobility. After completing this final challenge, you will finally, after all your hard work, unlock the greatest gun of Season 6, the Corelite. Also get 5000 XP toward your battle pass. But you may be thinking, this weapon seems pretty hard to get, is it worth it? Let's find out. So I went out and played the entire Gunslinger challenge, and finally, after a few days, got the famed Corelite. So how does it live up to its hype? Apparently it is. The Corelite is a high-powered SMG that does considerable damage to your opponent. 
Its fire rate and damage are much better than the average COD weapon and has excellent mobility, making this gun a powerful combat machine. But are there any drawbacks? Apparently so. Its range and recoil are so so, which makes this gun ineffective at long range. However, this can be somewhat alleviated by equipping the Cordite with foregrip and barrel. Which brings us back to the question, is this gun worth it? Fortunately it is, and if you know how to do it, the gunslinger challenges are not that hard, so if you're up to it, I highly recommend giving it a try. So there you have it. You now know how good the Cordite is, and how you can get it. If I missed anything, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments below, and I always like to say, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be uploading new videos every Sunday about Call of Duty and numerous other games. I hope you benefited from the video, and good luck in getting the Cordite.